Hello everyone, Triple S back here with some more Aviary Attorney and this game is not very memorable because I can't exactly remember what we did last time though I do remember that we did have a tough time trying to get through the whole courtroom stuff but now I can't remember what we're supposed to be doing now so screw it, let's just go to the prison You again, prison Arizona, come back later I'm just sorry for your quibbling, Muncher, stand aside You can't talk to me like that and we certainly can, we have reason to believe you are housing a suspect under false pretense. That is in direct violation of statutes 204B and 488C of the French Criminal Code of Justice. Failure to comply with our request may result in you, yes you, Monsieur, being held directly responsible for my for any consequential legal action. Alright, alright, you need to break out, out the legalese on me, I'll go up in the cell. Wow, Falcon, how did you memorise those criminal codes? Memorize? Come on, Sparrison, learn to bluff. Ah. We did it. Ah, Senor Falcon. It's good to see you again. It is so good to see you again. You have some good news about my case, I hope. Da -da -da. Angrily. Drop the act, Juan. You fed me a sugar lies at your at our previous meeting, and I don't appreciate having my time wasted. You appear upset, Senor. Of course I'm upset. You hired me to defend you and then made every effort to sabotage your own case. Tell me, what's your real name? Why, senor, it's Juan Corrido, of course. If you want your chance to be a farce and you don't need my help, come, Sparrison, we're leaving. Wait, wait, wait. Calm yourself, Monsieur Falcon. I'll reveal all. Did you just say, Monsieur, what happened to your Spanish accent? Your suspicions are well placed. Juan Corrido is not my real name, and I am not a Spanish prince. That was just a persona I can co concocted for the purpose of getting arrested. Cannot speak. Real name. What's your real name? What's in the name? It's just an empty label. A v vapid reflection of who we really are. Today I'm Juan Corrido, the Prince of Spain. Tomorrow I may be Bruno Rea, a pauper living under a bridge of this scene. That doesn't change who I am or what I do. That didn't really answer my question. No, I suppose it didn't. If you're a smart bird, Monsieur Falcon, I suspect that you already know my real name. Our... Renard Fulps? No. Rit? No. Or Don Quixote? You are Renard Fulps, private investigator. Very astute. And you are Monsieur Falcon, private defense attorney. That wasn't always your name, was it, Monsieur Falcon? Just like me, you know how to adopt a new persona on a whim. Change your name, Falcon? I didn't know that. This isn't about me, Juan Renard, Monsieur. We're trying to uncover the truth here. Of course. So what truth is it that you're attempting to uncover, Monsieur Falcon? Why would you want to get arrested? Why would you want to get arrested? Ah, you put me in a diff difficult position, Monsieur. If I tell you the full story, I will be putting someone else in danger. How about this? I'll tell you a story. I like stories. There was a girl, a mademoiselle who was in a great deal of debt. Everyone has a debt these days, monsieur. Indeed, but this particular mademoiselle was indebted to a very powerful man, and that man wished to collect. The mademoiselle had no means of paying, so the man offered her a deal. Murder this man, and I will forget what you are owed. Refuse, and I will reap what I have owed from your parents. With all turns into options, the Mademoiselle accepted. But another man, a gallant knight with foolish archaic notions of chivalry, heard the Mademoiselle's story. The knight knew that murder was inevitable, but he saw a way to take the fall in the Mademoiselle's place. Do you understand what I am saying, Monsieur? I understand. I understand, Monsieur. To be honest, it wasn't the subtlest of allegories. Ah, storytelling was never my strong suit. But I'm glad that you're seeing things from my perspective. Hopefully that sheds some light on the situation. If I may ask, Monsieur, why did you not just go to the police with the information that you had? The police are not always an option. What is a man to do with the justice system itself is the problem. Dot O. Oh, I'll let you know when I figure it out, Monsieur. Dwell on it. Perhaps we should talk about something else in the meantime? That's all. I don't have any more questions for you, Juan. I think we've learned all we can for now. Really? Don't think that we've learned very much. Oh, Monsieur Falcon, before I forget, could you find Mousy and ask him whether the birds have successfully flown south for the winter? Where the birds have flown south? What is that? Some sort of code? Something like that. I wish to show Monsieur that this does not directly pertain to the case. 
Well, if we had time, I'll be sure to let Mousy know. Let's make a new comparison. Trial day is approaching. Right. Oh, damn, we actually made some progress. I can't believe that took us a whole day. It's like you could play Phoenix Wright and just wander around the entire day endlessly, like, you, like it's Groundhog Day. <laughs> uh, what the hell was Mousy before? I can't remember. <laughs> was he at the Louvre? I'm going here. Screw it. Oh, there's Mousy. I thought it was here. I can't remember. Oh, customers. Uh, hello? Is this the office of Renard Vulps? Or Vulpes? Evil one. Ah! It's you two. Mousy, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, this is where I work. See, I and M. Renard and Mousy. Monsieur Renard Vulps and I carry out all sorts of investigations together. Although, to be completely honest, it's normally Monsieur Vulps who chooses which cases to take on. Mousy, we have the message for you. It's from Prince Juan himself. He wants to know if the birds have flown south for the winter, whatever that means. Oh, yes, yes, the birds have migrated successfully. But if Monsieur, I mean, Prince Juan told you that, then that must mean he, means he trusts you. He must want you to take these. Go on, take them, take them. These are used train ticket stubs? Looks like two people took a railway trip to Vienna. What exactly is the point? Is the, the point this mousy? Point this mousy! Um, Prince Juan said that they would help with the trial. See the names? See the names! Gautier Signet... Gautier Signet? Nicole Signet? Can't pronounce that name, I'm just saying Signet. Signet. I recognise a surname, but I don't know who these people are. Um, neither do I, I really. Monsieur, I mean, Prince Juan just told me to book train tickets for these people and then to make sure they caught the train. And so, and so, that's what I did. Strange. I'm not sure exactly how these stubs are supposed to help with the trial, but I'll keep hold of them just in case. And it's in the evidence folder. Let's go, Sparrison. I'm done playing Courier. Good call. There's literally only one more place we can go now. The offices. So, that's where we're gonna go. I'm feeling pretty confident about this case. The big picture is coming together nicely. I'm somewhat relieved that Prince Juan came clean. His secret was putting the whole case in jeopardy. We've still got one day until the trial, but how to spend it? I suppose we could revisit the Louvre, or maybe we should just play some cards at Le Canagio. Something wrong, Sparrison? You're being unusually quiet. Falcon, we need to talk. What's up? See, I was doing some thinking. Dangerous thing to do, I know. Anyway, I realised that we were missing a crucial piece of evidence. What evidence would that be? Well, we know that Major Howe consumed a piece of chocolate before he died, and we know that he died of poisoning. But we still aren't sure that the chocolate was the cause. That's true. If we keep pushing the chocolate theory, Cocorico will almost certainly bring that up. So I thought to myself, if one were to consume the wrapper itself, then that may provide proof of whether it contains traces of poison. Well, sure, that could work, but it would be incredibly foolish. Wait, were you thinking of eating the wrapper, Sparrison? Maybe. Well, stop those spots right now. I'm not going to let you potentially kill yourself like that. <laughs> I knew you would say that. That's why I already consumed the wrapper. 45 minutes ago! Sparrison? Sparrison? Really? How? What? Oh my god, hello. Doctor, is Sparrison okay? Ah, oh, he looks like a plague doctor with the nose. <laughs> well, he's not conscious right now, but he is stable. I think it's safe to say that your friend is not on his deathbed. Oh, thank God. His giant beak and his flappy wings. I thought, the, I thought God was a dog. Shut up. How did you say this happened again? It's a long story. Lawyer being occupational hazard. Doctor, can you tell me what poison caused this? I have no idea. I'm, I'm an expert in mental health, not toxicology. But I have sent for a specialist who should be here by tomorrow morning. You will make a full assessment. That's good to hear. Thanks, Doctor. Take good care of him. Wait a moment. There is a matter of the bill. I'll discuss it later. <laughs> bill. I have an important case to prepare for, and I won't partner down. I see. Well, rest assured that your friend is in good hands. This is terrible. What the hell was Sparrowson thinking? I can't win a case like this. You! I finally found you. Did someone say something? Running around like a headless chicken. You're one tricky lawyer to find. 
I tried to drop the investigation, but you just wouldn't listen. Who's speaking? I can't see you, Monsieur. Step forward. All right, I'll step forward. But it will be the last thing you'll ever see. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Au revoir, JJ Falcon. Did you just throw Falcon into the river? Huh? What just happened? Where am I? Am I dead? No, that can't be right. This is night time. I'm just sleeping. If I focus at count to three, I should be able to wake up. One. Two. Did it work? Ah! Dame Catalin! I can't believe how easy you were to fool. I put on a cutie voice, acted all innocent, and you ate the whole thing up. Shut up! Shut up! I don't need to be lectured by a murderer. I'm the murderer? Why, Monster Falcon, it was your accusations that put Barred Rogwell on death row. It wasn't my fault. Hey, where are you going? Oh, hello. Out of my way, Severin. I'm not done talking to Dame Catalin. It wasn't my fault. Is that the excuse you make after all of your failures? I'm not making excuses. Failure after failure after failure. No desire to improve yourself. You're a joke of a lawyer, JJ. Don't call me JJ. That's all I have to say. How pathetic. You don't even deserve to stand in your grandfather's shadow. My... My grandfather? My grandfather? Da -da -da. I'll prove you wrong. I can do better. Oh, you choose Farrison. Have to come to break me too. What? No. No, I'm just here to tell you to wake up. Wake up, Muncher. Wake up. Hey, can you hear me? I said wake up. And a new day. Really? Okay, I guess we're going here then. Oh, come on, Muncher. Wake up. I said wake up. You're starting to worry me. Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure where I would have to find a doctor or a mortician. Ugh. My head. Where am I? The Pont des Arts. You know, by the Louvre. In Paris. France. I just fished out the Seine. Seine, soon as I nearly broke my rod doing it. Wait, I know you. You're that disrespectful lawyer guy. Giro Falco or something. What time is it? Actually, what day is it? You hit your head pretty hard, huh? It's the 21st of January, and around 9 o'clock in the morning, by my reckoning. 21st? 9 o'clock? Oh no, the trial! I should have been in the corp the as this was there but 10 minutes ago. Well, you're running late, but take it easy, one sure. I'm sure they'll be understanding. Maybe if I sprint it. In your condition? That would be stupid. Take a seat, clear your head. I'll go get some dry clothes. No time! Wait, my sure. at least take this before you go. What's this? A dip pen? No. Wait, it's a modern fountain, fountain pen. Bone handle, gold nib, this is very fancy. Thanks, Monsieur, but this isn't mine. Really? You sure? You were holding it pretty tightly when I found you. I was holding this? Then I suppose it has to be mine. Fountain pen, add it to the evidence folder. Thanks, fisherman. I owe you one. Hey, don't call me a fisherman. I'm willing to bet it hasn't saved. Which is just amazing because this game doesn't save midway through stuff, which is just annoying. Ah, oh, but... Hey, Alright, I'm going to end off here and then just continue recording straight after because I don't think it's saved. Or maybe it has saved. Maybe... <laughs> I'd have to try... I'd, uh, if it has saved, good. If it hasn't, then the next time I'm going to be re recording this, I'm going to have to, like load through the whole thing again but anyway thank you for watching i'll see you all next time for some more aviary attorney where we're going to be back in court after sparrison accidentally poisoned himself well not accidentally but purposely tested to see if he would be poisoned then we got whacked over the head by someone saying do not keep going with the trial you dumb bird and yeah so thank you for watching see you all next time good bye This rock dubbed his name Waro Ryota, being friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind.